Hey guys, Exopolitik here uh, with a Canary Islands update. Uh, one of my subscribers brought to my attention tonight um, what I've been watching for and kind of fearing. Well, definitely fearing. Um, the first part of today, or uh, yesterday in Universal Time, was relatively quiet for the Canary Islands. There really wasn't a whole lot going on, as you can see here. There was just the odd tremor here and there. And uh, although some of the odd tremors were three plus magnitude. But then, you know, we came around uh, midnight, Universal Time, and here we have this swarm or uptick of earthquakes at the Canary Islands. Ah, we just had another one. Okay, um, I want to draw your attention to the fact that we have three three plus magnitudes in a row here, a 2.8, and then another three in a row. Um, and then the latest one that just happened, oh, the latest two that just happened were threes, three pluses. Um, okay, if you had the opportunity to listen to Mitch Batros last night on Coast to Coast AM, um, I do have uh, some of that interview on my uh, channel. He mentioned that uh, basically the way the big one is going to happen is going to be by a gradual increase in magnitude of these quakes. And uh, lo and behold, it's coming true right before our eyes. Um, it was pretty steady. We would have two magnitude, two plus magnitudes with the odd three in there. And now it seems the tide has changed a bit. And uh, we have steady three plus magnitude quakes going on there. So basically we need to keep our eye on what's going on here because according to Mitch Batros, um, something as relatively minor in most parts of the world as a five magnitude quake could actually be significant, uh, sufficient enough at the Canary Islands to cause the enormous landfall that would uh, result in the tsunami that uh, would affect the east coast of North America and the Caribbean. So uh, really, in the grand scheme of things, a five doesn't seem like much, but the soil there is not very stable. Um, it's kind of soft, I guess, and uh, easily movable. So we need to keep our eyes on what's going on here. I think I've said that enough times. Um, Mitch also said that uh, when the earthquake did occur and the landfall did occur, uh, creating this tsunami, we would have basically six to eight hours before it would hit the east coast of North America and uh, maybe a little bit longer before it would hit the Caribbean. So six to eight hours, that's really not a long time. Uh, it's something that would make you really want to keep an eye on this website uh, and just to see what's going on in, in real time. I don't know uh, what the delay is. I'm sure I could figure it out, but I've been sick and my brain's just not working right today. So uh, I'll do the math tomorrow and we'll figure out what the delay is between when the quake occurs and when they report it to us on this website because, you know, when you've only got six to eight hours, every minute counts. So uh, in that six, six to eight hours time, people living on the east coast of North America, the Great Lakes area, they're going to have to think about where they're going to go. You're going to have to fill up your cars, and you're going to have to head for high ground uh, away from large bodies of water that are connected to the ocean. So if you're along the St. Lawrence River, if you're in the Great Lakes uh, region of the United States and Canada, and most particularly along the east coast of the United States and Canada. Um, now, you know, I'm not uh, the USGS or anything like that, so I can't really say this is what you have to do, but all I can do is suggest that you have a full tank of gas, you have some cash on hand, and have an escape plan. I've done that, um, and uh, it, it really didn't take much, and it kind of sets my mind at ease. The only uh, trepidatious thing is actually keeping an eye on what's going on here on this website, because, you know, I don't feel confident that we would really hear much uh, in the mainstream media about what's going on there, not until it was too late, and that's not good enough for me. You know, Ali Velshi, uh, he's just not going to be on the ball for me enough in this case. So um, keep an eye on this website. Uh, stay tuned to my channel. I uh, I was planning on heading to bed because I haven't been feeling well, but um, I think I'm just going to surf the web a little bit and see what more information I can find on what's going on there. 
and uh, what the uh, implications are. I'm also going to look for that documentary uh, on the mega tsunami and I'm going to try to post it on my channel because uh, I think it's important for people to see it and to know what could potentially happen and uh, you know don't be scared just be prepared and uh, you know <laughs> do the best that you can because chances are there's somebody relying on you to do that so I'm going to sign out for now um, stay tuned thanks for watching have a great evening everybody uh, love your loved ones dearly and uh, talk to you again a little later or tomorrow bye now